In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use a light runner action. So inside Photoshop here, you want to open up a photo to work with. Now, make sure that your color mode is set to uh, RGB. Won't work in any other color mode. Okay, and leave the background, uh, so leave your layer called background. Uh, anything else in the action won't work. So the first thing we want to do is light up our actions panel. So if we go to the window menu, select actions. Next, hit this top right hand corner icon and select load actions. Click on light runner to load it. And here it is here. So with that loaded, uh, select the light runner action and just hit play. Now the action will take about 40 seconds to complete. So I'll, uh, once I've clicked play, I'll fast forward the video. Okay, so the action's finished. And so what we're going to do now, we're going to jump into the, to the layer panel and we're going to go through every layer and see what the action's created for us. So I'll just close up these folders. So this is the default look that the action is going to create for every photo. It's going to turn your uh, photo into a grayscale image and you're going to get blue and purple uh, glows and lines. So that can all be changed. So let's go ahead and take a look in the layer panel panel and the first folder adjustments so let's go inside here so the adjustments folder is basically uh, there for any fine tuning that you want to do to your design so the top top layer here I've got add glow now by default the visibility for that layer is turned off so if I turn that on you'll see that in the middle here is just a soft glow which if you grab this mask and you can you can move it around like this Right, you can also double click on this box, change the color. Okay, what you can also do, if you right click on this and go duplicate layer, you can create another one. So I can move this down here. Just like that. Okay, so let's turn those two off. So the layer below, contrast one, if I turn this one off, you can see how that affects the design. So this layer is quite important to um, for the contrast in your design. So this is actually uh, an exposure adjustment layer. So if I double click on this icon here, you'll see our properties here. And the, the one uh, setting that's adjusted is the gamma correction. So if I bring this back to one, the default level, and increase this to the right, you can see it does a really good job of uh, removing that whitewash over the design. Okay, so you're going to play around with that one. Layer below, contrast 2. This is just another contrast layer. Uh, helps remove a bit of the, the wash. Layer below is color slash saturation. So if I double click on this icon here, it brings up the hue and saturation properties panel. So by default, the color, the color saturation is boosted to plus 35. So you can bring that back down if you want. Um, but that's the default level. What you can also do, if you opt for your photo to be black and white, right? you can just grab this panel, this slider here, and drag this around to quickly change the colors. Just like that. <coughs> okay, so you only really want to use this slider uh, if your photo is, if you want it black and white. And where that's, um, setting is, if you go down to the bottom here, this black and white layer, if I turn this one off, you'll see it's brought back the original colors in the photo. So by default, when you've played the action, this will be turned on. Okay, so what you can also do with this one, uh, you can also adjust the opacity. So if I just click on this the word opacity, click and drag to the left, I can bring the opacity for that layer down. So you might want it you know, at about 50% opacity. We'll leave it there. So there's those few layers for you to uh, experiment with in the adjustments folder. So next is our light runner folder. So I'll turn this visibility off. You'll see that that's where all the glow, all the glows are. Okay, and you'll notice on, on the folder is a mask. Now, at the moment it's filled in white, so it's all visible. So if I just fill this black, you'll see it's removed it all. But if I grab a white brush, and I brush into this mask, I can reveal 
that glow wherever I want it to appear. Okay, and if you hold down shift and click on the mask, it will hide it. So it's like a quick preview uh, of what it looks like hidden. Move it on. Okay, so I'll just hide that for the moment and let's go inside the light run folder. So the top folder here is called motion light. These layers are basically uh, blurs, uh, directional blurs. So if I just move this whole folder around, you can see down here, you can see that it's, there's a vertical blur and there should be a horizontal blur. You can just see it there in the mix. So this, these, uh, these blurs will appear in the uh, in the highlights of your photo. So I'll just move that back to its original position. Let's go inside the folder. Okay, so there's three layers there. You can move them around individually if you want. There's a mask on them again as well and on the motion light folder. So now I can fill this black, the whole thing, and I can again just brush in where I want that to appear. Alrighty. So next folder down is glow particles. By default, if you go inside the folder, uh, there's only one of the layers turned on. Okay, so soft glow particles one. If I turn number two on, you'll see what that does. Now the way I like to use this layout is if um, fill this mask black, okay, and I want to brush in some areas where that stronger glow can appear. So if I just hold in shift to hide it, I can get a quick preview of uh, where I might want to brush it in. So down here on his wrist, uh, on his neck here, maybe a little bit around his hair. So if I just turn that off and start brushing in white. I can brush in those details in around his hair, just like that. Layer below, glitter. If I turn that one on, you can see, if I just zoom in here, you can see the very fine dots, uh, which are good to use uh, in areas. So you can, again, use the mask and brush in where you might want it to appear on his hair. Usually looks good around the highlights of your photo, so around these really bright points. So you can experiment with that. Folder below, I've called Glow Boosters, so you can turn this one off to see how that affects the design. So it just adds a lot more glow to it. You can go inside there and play around with these layers individually. Folder below is the glow lines. If I turn this visibility off, you can see that it just adds all those lines. You might not want them on, uh, but just by default, I've left them turned on. So if you go inside here, you've got the individual layers, you can move them around. Okay, now if you want to change the color of these lines, see this text here called Outer Glow? Just double click on that, and it'll bring up the layer style dialog box. Now if you just click on this blue box here, and change the color, just like that. Really simple. Okay, so I'll cancel that. Now, another thing you might want to experiment with here is the range settings. So if I drag this to the right, you can see that it, if I drag it to the right there, it creates a much thinner line, much less visible. If you drag it to the left, it thickens up and it brings in details in different areas, like up in the top here. Okay, so that's a really fun one to experiment with. Click OK. If you don't want it uh, so bright, you can adjust the opacity, you just drag that down. And what you can also do, if I, you can right click and go duplicate layer. And you move that one around. And change the color. Good. Just go that there. And what you can also do is experiment with the mask. So if I click on the mask here, and I can go filter blur, motion blur, and I can change, you know, the amount of blur there. And I 
we can move that around. Okay, so that's a fun one to experiment with. So I'll just minimize that. The layers below, main glow one, main glow two. So if I turn these ones off, you can see that they're basically the ones that trace around uh, the edges of your photo and adds glows. There's two different colors, so main glow one. So again, it's just double click on the word outer glow to bring up uh, the layer style dialog box. Just click on this color and change it. Just like that, really simple. And again, experiment with the range setting. So you can add, make it a lot brighter. You can reduce it. You can also increase the size of the glow. It's the setting here. Okay. And yeah, again, if you want color uh, in your photo, you can turn this one off. Turn it on if you want to keep it black and white. Okay. So let's go ahead and clean up this photo. I might want to remove these lines around his face. So if I click on the glow lines mask, I can brush into here. And just remove that. Let's go into the adjustments folder and turn on the glows. I'll keep this one blue. Change the color of this one. Okay, when you're happy with the final look, you can flatten it all. So just onto one layer. And what I'll do, I'll just reduce the size to about 800 pixels. And finally, that's, oops, let's just sharpen it. And there we go. So next up, I'm going to open up a new photo and we're just going to run the action and try and create a cool design out of it. So here's the next photo that we're going to work with. So I'm just going to open up the actions panel here and click play on the light runner action and I'll fast forward the video to get to the result. So here's our default look and by looking at it, there's quite a few things I want to change. I want to give uh, this design a red and orange um, color range. Well, I want to remove a lot of these uh, glow lines and we'll change their color. I want to add a bit more detail into the background. So let's go ahead and jump into the layer panel. And hide this. And firstly, let's take a look at changing the colors uh, of these glows. So I'm just going to go into the main glows and I'm going to pick let's go with this, I'll just check the range what we can do here maybe about there uh, main glow 1, let's change the colour of this let's see a red orange leave it at that Okay, the glow lines, change the color. Let's try yellow. Let's go with that. And we'll change, try yellow again. It's probably a bit too much, but we are going to erase quite a few of these. Alright, I'm liking that, so let's click OK. Now, next, I'm going to brush into this mask to remove some of these lines. So let's just check where that one's appearing. So I'll grab a, uh, a black brush and I'm just going to brush over these, these lines. You can see that when I brush into it, you get some cool effects. So, so if I undo that, you sort of brush in some cool details. Remove that, keep that. Of 
glue lines too. Let's remove this one. That. Right. One thing I'm going to check here. If I go into the uh, outer glow settings, I'm just going to experiment with the range. You'll see if I lower the range right down, it's bringing out some interesting details in the background. There's little glow dots, so I might keep that. Might keep that on. Might turn the uh, the spread of the glow down. See. You can see that it's created much uh, thinner dots. So leave that around. Let's just draw one like that. Now what I want to do is remove some of these dots. So let's go into the mask and let's brush them out where we don't want them to appear. Okay. Uh, looking at the photo, I might want to bring some colour, some original colour back into it. So let's go down to the black and white layer, just lower the opacity of that. That'll do. Okay, let's check out the glow boosters. Let's turn this on and off and see how it affects the design. Quite like that the way it is. One thing I might quickly experiment with, if I just duplicate one of these glow line layers, and I'll just move it across. Let's add some of that blur. This may or may not look good. Yep, that's looking pretty cool, so we'll leave that. Glow particles, let's jump in here. Now we'll turn on glow particles too and see what details we can potentially brush in. Alright, so I'm going to fill this mask black. Oops. Grab a white brush and let's start brushing in some of those details that we saw. So it looked good down through here. Over here was interesting. Alright, let's turn on the glitter and see where we could brush that in. Okay, kind of looks cool around her hair, her hand, and down here on the ground. So I'll fill that mask in black. Start brushing. Okay, motion light, let's turn the folder on and off and see how that affects the design. I think we'll leave that how it is. Color saturation looks good. Let's have a look at the contrast, turn that on and off, leave that on. Let's have a look at the exposure, bring the gamma down. I think the gamma is about right. Leave that how it is. We'll see if we can add a glow to this. So I'll bring, change this to orange. What I might do, I'll lower the opacity of that glow down. I'll duplicate it. Let's move this one down, down here. All right, I think we're done here. So let's hide the three folders that build the look. So there's our original. And there's with a couple minutes work. And that's it. Thanks.